Ah, uh, the Compact Desk Pro EN. Definitely one of my favorite PCs. And uh, you saw it last time, actually, when we installed Windows 3.1 on it. And somebody um, challenged me in the comments that I should try and run Windows Vista on this. Now, in the past, Windows 7 has actually worked on this. But I've never tried with Windows Vista. Now, of course, with Windows Vista, we need some upgrades because uh, in the configuration it had before, it, I think it wouldn't it wouldn't even boot um, Vista at all. It only had, I think, 320 megabytes of RAM or so. So I took it out. There's the RAM, and I've got here a 512 megabyte module. That was in there. Came out of a um, come came out of a iMac G3, but it wouldn't boot uh, with it. Now, I don't know if it's really broken because Macs sometimes are a little bitchy when it comes to RAM, so maybe here in the PC it works. Um, if not, I will have to find a different solution. I didn't think of that yet, of course. Um, and the hard drive is also different. The hard drive we had in here is only 10 gigabytes. Now, I originally went to save the, the data which was on there. So I would made a, make an image because this is not a lot of data. This is just MS-DOS and Windows 3.1. But then I realized, you know, 10 gigabytes isn't going to cut it with Vista. But 30 is no problem. So uh, I got here a 30 gig hard drive. Now, the only thing that worries me still other than the RAM is the drive. The, the, the drive. It is a... Mitsumi and I cannot find anywhere if it's a DVD drive or not uh, I really don't know it says DVD ROM here so maybe that's a good guess that it is one but I've had problems with this in the past and I fear that it is not going to like my modern DVD so one of these Got myself a couple of DVDs again. Hopefully it reads it just fine. If not, I got here some donor machines. I've got, for example, this one, which has two drives here. And this is a CD drive, and here's another DVD drive. So I have enough, but I just don't want to work. So, oh, here, here's another one. Okay, so I hope this just boots and fine. So let's set it up. So, it is ready. Now, I said this is one of my favorite PCs. Well, why? You saw it previously. HP did just such a great job on engineering this. Changing out pretty much anything is possible. And as you saw, we replaced the hard drive in this, I don't know, a dozen times at least. And it just goes so fast and quick. Um, the only thing you could run into is the problem with the power supply, because that is proprietary. So, if that breaks... Uh, I would need to get a pretty much another Desk Pro EN because I don't think you can find them anywhere. And uh, same with processor. I don't think there's a faster one out there. I, I heard that there's a faster Pentium 3 out there, but I think it's just not worth uh, purchasing. Because the, the speed improvements would just be like minimal. And you need to find one, of course, too. So... Let's just stop rambling and see if it even works with this RAM. As I said, the RAM had problems in the Mac. It was in there before. But here, of course, get a perfect 512 megs. And uh, the computer cover has been removed. Yes, this computer is smart. This computer detects the stuff that has been done to it. Um, and as you see, it even knows that the RAM and the drive were updated. I mean, you can you see why I like this computer so much? <laughs> None of these things can do that. Um, and this just does it from the factory. So, very nice. I like it. Let's just see these changes. Um, I don't know what's on this drive, on this disk. Uh, maybe OS 10. I don't know. I'm not sure. I don't think it's going to boot. But I know that it's... 100% working, so, yeah, yeah, it's not booting, what a surprise, okay,
got here, Windows Vista 32-bit. Of course, 100% legit. And, oh, and before, before you judge me, I've got here a 100% legit Windows Vista disk. If it is somewhere to be found, where did I put it? Oh, here. <laughs> As you can see, that's 100% legitimate. But it's, the problem is it's only 64 bits, so... Yeah. <laughs> um, I don't feel like purchasing 32-bit windows in this day and age. Especially not Vista. Okay. Let's see if it boots from this. I hope to drive this CD-ROM. Drive, DVD, ROM, whatever works. And some guys have asked me, hey, yes, seems to boot. Great. Uh, why this flickering? Is this kind of like if Slenderman was there? You can't really see it now, but you can see it a little bit. See that? No, that's not the problem of the computer or its GPU or anything. It is the monitor. This is a, a Yakumo monitor. They're not really known like at all. <laughs> I've never heard of this company. I got this uh, for free from my dad's house and this is a very early LCD monitor. This is uh, I think 1999 or so built. Um, there is the model number if you ever would care about that. I don't know. Um, as you can see it was purchased 22 but this design is like from the 90s. It's uh, a very early LCD. Uh, there you go. It's uh, it's emissions, er, economic, ergonomic, whatever, from 1999. So, yeah, not the latest technology. And I think this is just because it's old and it has been used a lot. So it's maybe uh, here to say bye bye anytime soon. But as you can see, now it's stopped. Maybe this is a capacitor problem or so. I don't know a whole lot about capacitors, but. Uh, yeah, well, what I like about this monitor is, is that it is built rather tough, not like uh, some crappy newer ones. However, it is definitely not the, the greatest monitor. I've got here this 5 euro Samsung monitor, which has also uh, <laughs> this uh, same sticker here, this ergonomics from 1999. Uh, but it's, it's a completely different source. This monitor I bought in Austria. And this monitor came from Germany, so uh, it's kind of weird that they both have this. What a coincidence! But this is also not the latest, and this is way, way nicer. So maybe Yakumo wasn't the the best company in the world. Oh, and and oh, you can see the power of these Intel eight two eight six one G graphics. I don't know how much memory they have, but not a whole lot. And uh, yeah, it seems to boot though. Um, it says please wait and it didn't freeze. So yeah, as you can see, we got the Windows Vista boot success at least. We'll switch here to Sherman because this keyboard would get on my nerves, this English keyboard. So yeah, next, let's see what we got course we accept everything and unallocated space let's create a new partition this old hard drive well this Maxter hard drive but to my surprise it's uh, very silent unlike uh, some of its mates here for example this one is definitely the loudest okay Next. Now since 30 gigabytes is still not a whole lot for Windows Vista, we will probably have like 10 gigabytes free. But then again, why would you want to use this configuration at all? First of all, it's Vista. Second, it's a Paynium 3. Definitely not the greatest uh, combination. But that's why you're all here for, right? Yeah. And because I like to do this. Now, now we have to wait. This is... Uh, gonna take a while especially the expanding files part this is the one that takes so long and 
with the configuration. I think it runs at 1 gigahertz and 512 megabytes of RAM. Even though it is Vista, it's not 7. I think still this is gonna take a quite a while. And I hope we're not getting any blue screens. Because that can happen anytime on these early versions of Vista. Although I think it's Service Pack 2 which I got here. So maybe they fixed some stuff. Nevertheless, it's always a little challenge. Okay, we are at 50%, 51% and it hasn't crashed yet. Yes. Rebooting. Let's see if it boots. It's looking good so far, guys. Uh, no crash, no nothing. It's just a normal but slow Windows install. Hopefully that continues. We don't want to boot from CD or DVD again. We just want to wait. And if I'm not wrong, it's going to take a while until we're going to see a Windows desktop because it's just so much stuff before there. It's, it's having this progress bar which needs to go away and um, where it says the computer is being set up and stuff. So, yeah, I will not record that. Okay, we got to the setup window screen. It was very easy. No problem, like, at all. Um, yeah, let's see later. I mean, this was just too easy, guys. We got no problems, no errors. No, nothing. It's just... We got nothing. It just worked. You wouldn't really expect that from Windows Vista, would you? But, uh... Then again, it's always Pack 2, so... The latest, without the million zillion updates that followed from the original re release, which I have, which is very buggy. Um, on this machine up there, I tried to install it. It crashed three times when it came out. So, yeah. Okay, but uh, maybe it froze. I don't know. I think it's just loading. Repairing your desktop. Oh, and we're there. Okay, well, uh, this took a little while. But, you know, seeing the configuration of this computer, it's really not a big deal to me. And as you see, this really worked. I mean, incredible, right? There you go. Um, I mean, soon there will come this welcome center thingy that uh, they always had back then. I found that always very annoying. Um, let's right click on computer. And let's see. Let's see. <laughs> There you go. Now we'll of course try to get the graphics adapter working um, with the old trick to run it in compatibility mode for Windows XP. <laughs> I hope it works on Vista too, but if it works on 7 maybe it also works on Vista. It doesn't really like to tell us that it's um, Pentium 3 just says it's a family 6 model 8 stepping 10 930 MHz x86 yeah that's a uh, Pentium 3 for you but yeah guys I mean let's see what drivers we don't have apart from the obvious graphics maybe the internet works so I can try to get it online although it's gonna be slow and probably just faster if I download the driver on the the computer next to me. Yeah, come on. Come on. You can do it. There we go. Oh, I see no problems. Intel processor, well thanks a lot. 
Well, at least it tells us Intel processor, but here, here it doesn't even tell me you like anything. Um, monitors, yeah, that's not a problem. Yeah, but it detects the max stir, that's great. Yeah, but we gotta work on this, this graphics driver. Okay, we are gonna try the trick. Here is the Windows XP driver for, and apparently also for 2000, but this is the uh, just the original driver from Intel for the graphics card and we're gonna go to compatibility and run this in Windows XP Well, for some reason I can't run it in service pack 3, but that shouldn't be a problem. So let's Oh god, this resolution is just awful like the, the Windows bar is blocking me uh, from the From the okay button so we're gonna auto hide it Okay all right, now it now it went even further down, but we can get it. Okay, good. Now let's run it and allow. And as you hear, heard the internal speaker works. That's nice. And here you can see <laughs> Windows XP for this chipset. So let's just try it. It worked this way really nice in Windows Seven. I don't know where I saw this. I think I saw a video of uh, some other guy who tried to do this and he had troubles getting it to work on Windows 7, but he went with this cheat, which I don't know why exactly it works, um, but it works. So why can't they just like officially release it? I don't know, but let's see if it works on Vista. I have no idea. It says it's being installed, which is good. Here we go. That's the the first boot with the driver. And I will stand up. And I'm sorry, I'm not using a tripod today. Uh, I lent that to a friend actually, so I'm sorry, but yeah, kind of have to deal with my shaky hand. Okay. No idea if it worked. It's all making some weird screen turn on, turn off. Now, judging by the mouse pointer, it didn't look that native resolution kicked in. But we'll try to fix it. Well, I can see that this screen now has not the kind of black bar here anymore that it once had, so. I think with the correct resolution, we can get it working. Now this always takes long. Yeah, yeah, welcome. No, please just get on with it. Oh. Oh, 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 oh yeah, there we go. <laughs> uh, what, why was that? I mean, the driver already loaded. Why did it crash now? Oh, that's Vista Life right there. Let's see what it does after a reboot. I, I could, it could also have been the still uh, USB, the connected USB. So let's let's see. We'll start Windows normally. And to my surprise, it installed this USB, additional USB 2.0 card just perfectly fine. Uh, it just, I don't know. Maybe it was really because of the USB. Let's see. Nah. As you can see, it's booting up there in save mode. Uh, didn't work. It apparently was the driver because it did just the exact same thing again. When it went to the desktop, it just boom, blue screen. Now, I just didn't look at what the blue screen actually said. That could have helped me out. But I really, I mean, now that I only changed one thing and that, then it started this, it could only be the, the graphics drivers. I'm trying now uh, to... Uh, uninstall it and see if there is any driver or if it finds one in Windows Update which I highly doubt so yeah maybe we'll stuck with this non-existing driver and the Vista as we know it continues yeah I can uninstall it yes how awesome is that now I'm trying again in the Windows device manager so let's see display adapter as you can see there it is actually this is the correct 
graphics. Now, unfortunately, I have to uninstall it because it doesn't work. Uh, so, yeah, it's, it's uninstalled. It's uninstalled. Okay, let's see if it works. I have no idea. I mean, uh, where did it go? Now it's just to get the Microsoft Basics. Oh, yeah, there we go. Other device. Um, really sucks. Okay, now let's give it a reboot and see if it works. Now I'll only just now, just now I'm looking if the internet actually works. Oh, now it's back again. Yeah, what the hell? Now it's successfully installed? I don't get it. How can that be? I mean, I did, I did just uninstall it. What the hell? Why is it now installed? Oh boy. Windows Vista. There you go. Now I'm not hating on Vista. I think they solved it. On like machines where it was meant to run because on this. I mean, I, I don't know if it, if it ever was meant to run on a Titanium 3 with such an old graphics card. But then again, uh, I'm having errors here and when I when I first got in touch with Vista, which was on my Fushitsu, oh boy, I, I I bought like the the version where it just came out. It was brand new. I bought Windows Vista and installed it, and boy, everything crashed. Uh, I had so many blue screens. I had not working drivers for pretty much anything. Not my printer. Not my trackpad. Not but the graphics worked. But uh, I think the the Wi-Fi also had problems. Oh my god. And uh, with the service pack updated, pretty much, you know, cleaned up very nice. So, um, it's not that bad anymore, but they unsupported it. Uh, I know that. It, they unsupported it officially, so they killed it pretty early. Because it was just so crap. Nobody uses it. I don't know anybody who uses it. Alright. Now, please don't crash. I mean, apparently it installed a driver. If I'm like, if I got that right from the operating system, if it tries to tell me that, I have no idea actually. I'm, I'm not sure if it really installed it or it just reverted something, I don't know. Oh, bad pool color. Yeah, so it just went, like installed the driver back. <laughs> We gotta get rid of the driver, otherwise we can't continue. And we go again into save mode. Yes! Yeah. What was, what did I say? It's a smooth install without problems? Well, until you actually install drivers. <laughs> that sucks. Um, so, um, if you're asking, dedicated GPU. Yes, I would like to put one in there, but I think I only have... Um, HEP GPUs that I can use here so um, I'm sorry but I, I think I don't have a, a PCI like non-express uh, graphics card um, I have this crappy 210 but I think this is also express so there's no way or at least I think there's there's no way I can get a dedicated GPU in there. I mean, I could try and look through like these piles there. Um, this one looks quite promising. Although, I think there it's the same problem. Because this graphics card is so old. I think it wouldn't even matter if I, it worked. Because there's no driver for Vista. But I'm gonna look if, if I don't find a driver for this 8215 graphics controller. Oh, 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 oh. Well, mates, while I was like looking in there, if uh, I can't get a cheap U, which I don't think that's working, it just popped up here and it says it's installing like all of those goddamn drivers. Like, holy crap, there are a lot of, and so many are ready to use. Um, why couldn't you do this earlier? I mean, yeah. you had the time. <laughs> I was just uh, downstairs eating something. I was just sitting at the desktop, and then I like uh, said, "Yeah, no, I'm, no, we're going and uh, install the XP workaround driver." And by the way, if you think I'm bullshitting you with this workaround selecting compatibility mode thing, you just watch my Windows Seven video on this. It worked no, worked no problem. So. 
Um, apparently, it's now ready to use, as you can see. There, Windows. There is the proof. I'm recording it, Windows. You can't lie to me that this doesn't work. As you can see, ready to use. And some other stuff, too, like TV encoder driver and some flat panel driver. I mean, I don't know what that is. I don't know what an AIM is. Uh, maybe you can tell me that. And there's an external flat panel driver. Well, that's great. Driver zero, yeah. <laughs> no way starts with zero in IT, yes. Um, so, I, right now, I think we need a reboot and then it's working. I mean, that can't be. Can I set the resolution? Am I allowed to do that now? Whoa! <laughs> Can't find requested string. If I click on it, what happens? Windows cannot find can't find requested string. Well, maybe that's like some, some, some stuff for the driver. And once I reboot, it's it's working. But I don't think it's just. I think this is just gonna. Uh, blue screen and that's all but yeah I mean we can set the resolution I don't think it's correctly though yeah that's <laughs> that's a weird resolution guys uh, let's set that one I mean it doesn't doesn't have such a weird resolution it's more oh and there we go oh my god maybe it needed a reboot after all I don't know it Maybe it was too much. But it says it was ready to use, so... If Windows Vista tells me that, there's... I mean, what can you do but believe it? I mean, this turned into a little odyssey here for the driver. And this is exactly what I what I went through when I got Windows Vista first. Um, just exactly the same. Just driver problems and driver problems and... It was also slow, but that was because I only had like one gigabyte of RAM uh, and so much stuff on it and so much auto starts, you know, all this stuff you have once you, when you don't know anything about computers, like toolbars and probably a lot of viruses. So, you know, that was in, when did Vista came out? Like 2005-ish, 2006. And uh, like right before Windows 7, I got into these, these computers and you know, I just wanted to run everything and be happy with it. But, uh, yeah, everybody's got to learn. But Vista is a bad place to start learning. So more like hating. And I started hating Windows like there. It was like the biggest Apple fanboy you could imagine once I started this channel. And we still got this weird resolution. And I have a feeling it's going to crash. I have a feeling it is going to blue screen. I got a feeling, yeah. Yes! Come on, there you go. Wow, now it, now it was a different blue screen. Huh. <laughs> yeah, maybe I should look, look into the graphics card after all. So, um, I have to disappoint you. I looked through some computers and all of them have HEP GPUs, which was, you know, common back then. Um, and this was never like intended to have GPUs. I think this was just a, a business machine, just you know, doing office tasks. So the internal graphics were just fine. But of course, that means Windows Vista. Well, we got it installed. We got it running at least for a few minutes before it went to this driver madness. Um. Yeah. I mean, what can you do? It, that's, this is Vista, after all. So, uh, you don't have to expect like a great performance and great reliability on a system like a Pentium 3. <laughs> well, here is your video. Unfortunately, I mean, I would like to dive in this and fix these problems, but I just don't have the time right now. Um, and also, I wouldn't really keep it on Vista because it's just Vista on a Pentium 3. It's just for the sake of it. And, you know, I kind of... Half failed, half half won, wind, no, won, that, no, oh, I got it done. Um, but that's really all for now. Yes, and now we'll see the beautiful blue screen again. Maybe I'm, I will catch the, the error message this time. 
but it's just always so fast gone that I just cannot read it usually. Uh, no, didn't get it. But anyway, um, this is my Vista adventure. Nice. Um, hope you liked it. it. Was kind of a rambling video most of the time, but yeah. There you go, Windows Vista in its glory. And yeah. See you later.